Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's end of day's trading session, the 31st of August 2016. Okay, now let's try and decipher exactly what's happened here. Certainly a late session dip. Okay, I did actually forecast a weakness got in the European markets, and that's certainly, I actually exited a bit too early, unfortunately. And uh, we had the uh, oil data come out, and certainly the markets went into a t uh, certainly uh, into a tailspin. Okay, now let's try and uh, understand exactly uh, where we stand for Wednesday's session, going into the U.S. session uh, of uh, Wednesday, 31st of August. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. Uh, you can certainly uh, download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store, and uh, you can visit www.tradesignal.com and uh, certainly uh, gain the uh, insight from signals and market updates from leading providers okay now in terms of the uh, economic data let's see since my last uh, midday video we had adp numbers that actually came in stronger but more or less in line not spectacularly strong considering last was 194 uh or certainly last month's was revised higher to be honest okay so certainly 177 versus the 175 Okay, that certainly would, well, technically should have triggered a, a rally in the dollar. Again, that was all uh, factored in. We had GDP from um, Canada on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. That certainly came in slightly, um, well, on a month-on-month -on -month basis, that certainly came in better than expected. Chicago PMI came in slightly weaker than expected. Pending home sales came in stronger than expected. And really, the, the real market-moving uh, economic data piece was the uh, oil uh, crude stocks, uh, okay, so again, excess supply certainly hurting the price of oil and certainly sending the uh, stock market into a tailspin. Okay, now if I just bring up the chart of oil for you, give you an insight here. Let's just have a look. Bring up the chart of oil. There we go. Okay, so you can certainly see that we, we've certainly set, sold off quite sharply. Daily chart now testing that 200 MA below. Okay, so certainly testing the 200 MA. The four hour chart at the moment testing the 200 MA as well. Horizontal support is seen in this at this juncture. Okay, so again, looking at a potential exhaustion on the sell off and looking for a potential bounce. So again, certainly keep that in mind. Okay, in terms of the next price movements on the. Uh, the chart of oil. Let me just quickly add in the uh, pivot points here. See how far we've uh, sold off. Okay, so certainly coming into pivot S3, it's extremely sold for sold down. Uh, RSI obviously below almost at 16 levels. So certainly oil, certainly from an intraday basis, certainly are extremely, extremely oversold. And don't be surprised if you see if you or you actually witness a bounce here. Okay. So again, oil price is certainly factored in. Now, the uh, argument against, or well, arguments uh, against the, or should I say, supporting the bounce in oil, really is the Aussie. Uh, as you can see, Aussie USD certainly moving higher, uh, and also the uh, Kiwi dollar as well, certainly trying to push higher on the 60-minute chart. Really, it's an inverted head and shoulders formation. Certainly needs or wants to push higher up to the 7 to 90 zone. Okay, certainly looking very bullish in terms of oil, in terms of dollar. Uh, Euro is certainly bouncing off that 200 MA as well. If I bring up the chart of USD CAD, I'm not sure if I have that here. You'll see USD CAD certainly into resistance as well. Fortunately, I don't have that at the moment. Okay, so I don't actually have that variable. Okay, well, USD CAD certainly into resistance as well. USD JPY and date on the four hour chart certainly into resistance as well. Okay, so dollar certainly coming into resistance, which in turn should actually help the commodity sector and help the price of oil obviously stabilize and start to reverse. So again, certainly take that into consideration, okay? Uh, in terms of US markets, the NASDAQ certainly has sold off sharply. If I look at the 60-minute chart on the NASDAQ, we did. Uh, we almost closed the gap below. We're putting a potential bottoming tail here, holding double bottom support. So again, certainly uh, holding the pivot low here. Okay, so certainly uh, coming into play. And certainly is it st oh, certainly starting to bounce as we speak. So certainly look for a potential pop here on the chart of uh, the Nasdaq. Okay. Okay. So in terms of economic data, really it was all about the uh, price of oil. Certainly sending the uh, the actual markets lower. 
Okay, now let's uh, look at the uh, US markets for now. Uh, S&P 500 obviously holding at 21, uh, 61 pivot low, certainly looking to bounce here. Also with regards to the NASDAQ, certainly putting in, putting in a bottoming tail. Uh, failing to close the gap below at uh, 47.44, bearing in mind that we actually had the uh, Asian markets higher overnight. So again, that's certainly uh, the Nikkei and the USD JPY certainly support the US equities. Okay, now in terms of technical picture, let's just bring up the technical picture for you, given the fact that uh, the German DAX had stronger retail sales today. We had stronger uh, employment data today as well from the Eurozone. So certainly supported from that perspective. So into the 200 MA, certainly sell off into the close, given the fact that we had weaker oil data. And uh, again, ADP certainly split the market to a large extent. But again, the Euro, given the fact that it's languishing at the lows, one could argue that the euro certainly is acting as a stimulus and, and certainly helping equities to a large extent. So again, from my perspective, given stronger retail sales and given German stronger German employment, certainly looking for a pop on uh, European equities. And given the fact that we are into that 200 MA uh, at the moment, currently uh, the pivot low being the 10,560, 10,570 zone. Currently uh, on DAX, we are now slamming into that uh, 10,570 zone. Also bear in mind that we do have gap fill at 10,550. So you are looking for a pop on European equities based on that alone, okay? 60-minute uh, chart on the German DAX. Let's just zoom in here. Or should we say zoom out, okay? So again, you're back into that uh, potential uh, horizontal support around the 10.590. You've got unfilled gap at 10.550. Given the fact that we have actually made a higher high here, you are looking for a higher low. And I'm uh, certainly looking for a move uh, higher again, given the, the fact that you have stronger retail sales from Germany and stronger employment data as well. Okay, the French CAC certainly sold off quite substantially. Currently into that 4430 zone, got into gap fill at 4425. And therefore, bias certainly turns bullish from, from this perspective. Uh, certainly here on in. Okay, uh, looking at the 60-minute chart, again, you do have gap fill below. Okay, bear in mind that you do have a series of higher highs and higher lows. So it's very hard to uh, maintain a bearish stance. Uh, okay, so again, certainly hard to maintain a very stance here, and certainly looking for a move higher. So higher high was at 4490, and given the fact that we have gap fill at 4430, 4425, looking for next resistance being at 4505 and 4530. So certainly looking for a move higher from uh, from my perspective, and again happy to go along on the French cap from here. In terms of the uh, the actual uh, price of the FTSE 100, let's look at the index. FTSE after hours certainly has flushed as low as uh, 6,760, folks, okay? Certainly indicating weakness. You do have a, a resistance or support around this region here. So from a FTSE's perspective, you, if you, you do retest the previous resistance equals support at 6,760, 6,745 or 6,750, sorry. Again, those zones will act as support. Uh, given the fact that we have QE obviously in the backdrop for the FTSE, uh, certainly an inherent bias uh, would turn bullish to buy the dip based on that QE. Uh, you are into the FIB 50% uh, support at FIB 50%, and then you have support at 61, which is 6745, and 6750, and 6760. So watch out for those two potential uh, zones. Now, again, oil prices certainly are a uh, detriment uh, and certainly will play against the FTSE, and certainly hurt the FTSE. So again, 6780, given the fact that we have held in market hours. After hours, it's just a totally different game altogether, okay? But market hours, we have actually held, and this is a key diagonal trend line with FIB support. I want to see price action close below 6780, uh, and with the, with conviction, uh, again, or with the catalyst, the catalyst certainly is there from a fundamental perspective, and then I'll be more than happy to go short. But for now, this is certainly a buying opportunity for now, okay? Provided, obviously, oil holds support, and the Aussie and Kiwi hold as well. Okay, so again, keep an eye on the FTSE at 6780 to 6760. Those two zones are potential support. As you can see here from a 60-minute chart, 6780 was crucial, is crucial, okay? If we start to move below, then you are looking at potentially testing. Let's just have a look here. You have potential tests at 6760. If that fails, then you are looking at a potential... A real slump here, quite a substantial slump lower, okay, down to 6740 potentially, okay, into this bearish channel, so it continues, okay, so again, bear that in mind. In terms of European st uh, Euro stocks, so let's just have a look at the Euro stocks, going back to European indices. 
Okay, Euro, Euro, Euro stock certainly retesting the previous support equals resistance or previous resistance equals support at the uh, 373020 zone. Okay, you have horizontal support at 3022, 3020, 3018. So again, these zones are all support. Certainly looking for a pop higher. We held gap filled resistance and Euro stock certainly has flushed. At one time, I didn't expect that flush. Okay. Given the fact that uh, the market certainly was stable, low volume, etc., etc., and uh, pending home sales, ADP, no reaction at all. As soon as we got the uh, oil inventory data come out, uh, the market started to flush quite substantially. So, interesting, okay, interesting. It's interesting what makes the market trigger, okay. So, I, did, I actually bailed out my short positions a bit too early, uh, only to obviously watch the flush afterwards. So, certainly frustrating, certainly frustrating from a trading perspective, but. That's, that's trading, folks, okay? You have to adjust, you have to shift your biases accordingly, okay? Right, in terms of the uh, Euro stocks, again, like I said, 3020 zone, certainly solid support, okay? Given the fact that the daily chart certainly does want to push higher up to 3060 and higher, if the Euro remains around this 1.1 level and you strongly, you obviously uh, incoming stronger economic data, then you are going to see a concerted move higher on the Euro stocks. Uh, and uh, to potential new highs in the back of Mr. Draghi potentially doing QE. Again, it's all in the air, okay? I'm just taking each day as it comes. From a technical perspective, on a daily chart, you, a topping tail on the euro stock certainly isn't a good sign. Okay, bear that in mind. But given the fact that we've had stronger economic data out in Germany, again, that does support the potential move higher. So again, uh, you do have horizontal support at 3020 zone. So I'm certainly looking for a pop. Whether or not we make a lower high and trigger this H&S formation down to gap fill below, that certainly is a different question altogether. Obviously, gap fill being at uh, 2998. So again, let's just take each day as it comes. Uh, economic data today, uh, stronger German data in terms of employment and retail sales. CPI data certainly came out weak today in the Eurozone. Okay, in Germany as well. Okay, and also in, uh, in France. So certainly arguing for more QE, okay, and again, that should certainly keep the uh, equity markets supported, uh, given the fact that the Fed's hawkish stance certainly continues, okay. So again, so take that into consideration, okay. So it's whether or not the gap at 3,000 closes first and then we rally, or we continue to rally. So again, the question is uh, certainly uh, out there, and uh, it's one that we certainly will seek as, as day traders. So for now, I'm certainly looking for a potential pop here, a potential bounce in the euro stocks, okay? Right, in terms of uh, copper, copper certainly has stabilized now on the 60-minute chart. You are stabilizing here, given the fact that the US dollar certainly is into resistance now. That should certainly help. So if you look at the US dollar daily chart, potential topping tail. Uh, Four-hour chart, you can certainly see it uh, better as well. A topping tail, IHS formation completed. And now looking to reverse. Now, this is one of the reasons that actually the uh, the Euro USD potentially popped from its 200 MA as well. Certainly bear that in mind. Your USD JPY, USD CAD. So, FTSE should certainly benefit. Uh, now, the Aussie and Kiwi haven't actually followed through on their potential move higher. So, which is frustrating all day. It certainly has been very frustrating, even with ADP and stronger home sales. And stronger home sales and ADP have failed to keep the. Uh, the actual uh, US markets higher as well. So again, certainly looking at that factor as well in terms of obviously stronger data in, in signaling potential rate hikes. And again, that certainly is causing the sell-off in the US market. So it's always in interesting to see which market narrative is, is currently in play, okay? For now, my conclusion would be that the dollar certainly is into resistance, okay? And certainly that will help the, uh, the commodity sector, although obviously oil supply data certainly isn't helping. But should help stabilize the uh, commodity sector, which in turn should help the FTSE and the S&P 500 move higher. Also, given the fact that we've had the Nikkei higher overnight, the USD JPY still remains above 103. Certainly all good signs and should certainly help the US markets higher. Okay, on that note, please do visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of 25% bonus. Goodbye now.